Alright guys, well, welcome to the video. In case you didn't know by the title, um, this is going to be a primitive catch and cook fish video. So what I'm working on here at the moment is my fishing line. So I'm using um, New Zealand flax, even though I'm here in Australia. This is um, being cultivated here. All I'm doing is twisting it one direction and then twisting it back over itself the opposite direction and just going along. So that'll be my cordage that I'm going to use to catch the fish. I'll probably make it a bit thicker as I go. But this end here is where I'm going to tie the hook. So I want it reasonably thin just to not scare the fish off when it, when it picks the bait up. Um, in saying that, I need it strong enough that it's not going to snap the line when it does take the, take the bait and I'm trying to pull it in. So I'll give you a close up of what I'm doing here, but it's pretty straightforward. It's just uh, twisting one direction and wrapping it back over the cordage and then taking the next one, twisting it that same direction, wrapping it over the cordage and just keep, I'm just twisting one away and then wrap it back towards myself, twisting one away, wrap it back towards myself and just keep going. You're just wrapping it over the top. But anyway, this is going to take me quite a few hours to uh, make up enough cordage that I'm going to need. So I'm just going to keep going with it and you have the luxury of watching it happen in a couple of minutes. So, Alright, thanks again for watching guys and sit back and enjoy. So, I'm here at the uh, what's left of a wallaby. Got the backbone here. It's um, been there for quite a while. So I'm just going to take a number of bones and see what I can come up with uh, hook-wise. So I got some I got a pelvis and um, yeah, some more ribs and stuff over there.
All right, so I've grabbed an assortment of bones. I don't nearly know what I'm going to use here yet. But I'm also thinking, when I, um, when I get a fish on, hopefully, uh, I have to have a way of landing it. Um, I could try to drag it up on the, uh, on the embankment, but um, I'm worried that my line might be too weak. Well, I don't want to test it. I don't want to find out that it is too weak by losing the fish. So I'm thinking I could come up with some sort of uh, gaff hook deal. We've got these other other bits of rib. Now the rib cage of the um, that wallaby. So I've already got that hooked. Um, hooked the fair, so I can sharpen that up, and I can attach that to a, a stick. I could put a couple of them on there just to hedge my bets, and then I can reach in and use that to jag the fish when I've got it on the line, um, just to help land it. All right, guys. Well, got that line in the water, the um, primitive line, but um, <laughs> going to go a bit modern. Hedge my my bets of catching a fish here, just to see if there are fish and just to uh, kill the boredom, I guess. Um, instead of just sitting on one line, I can have two out there. But um, I'm hoping to get one on that that other line. Um, that's the plan for the video, anyway. So if I don't catch a fish, then it's um, just primitive fish, it's not primitive catch and cook fish. So. All right, I'm gonna cast this out and see how we go.
Well, we've got a fish on. Not on the rod I want. The way it's fighting, it feels like a bass, but no. Nah. Catfish. That's what I wanted on the other line. So. Alright, so that's what I'm hoping to catch on that other line. But, um, however, so far, no luck, but hopefully they're starting to move around. Alright, so there he is. Nice um, eel tail catfish. Smells uh, pleasant when my head's so close to him. But um, hopefully we'll get one on that other line pretty soon. And uh, that's the big test. Let's see if I can actually hook one on the primitive fishing gear. So, time will tell. My um, hook got a little bit mangled. But anyway, we use my um, worm. Let's see how we go. Oh, I'd really like to get one on that primitive gear. That'd be um, that'd be the best, best outcome anyway. So I've got one line, this line just out here, that line's out a bit further, probably in the main channel coming through here in the deepest part of the river. So, they should be starting to feed now, so hopefully we're going to see something pretty soon. One fish, just one fish on that line would be great. I mean, the way that guy took it, that last fish, that would have been perfect on the other one. He swallowed it right down, exactly what they meant to do. Catfish swallows it deep, take the bait hole, they don't bite on it. So, um, yeah, he just swallowed it right down. If I can get one to do that on the primitive gear, should be in with a chance. <laughs> Wait and see. Famous last words, but I'm feeling 50 50 that um, you know, get one on that line. Just a matter of how deep that water is out there. It's, the line's not that long. So I've only out uh, 15 yards, 10 metres, 12 metres. But this time of day, coming to tonight, I'll be moving out, looking around the edges here for any little insects that have made their way into the water. the camera other than this is fishing. Not much happening. Made my line, made my hook, looked at my bait. Down here, river, cast it out. I can't do much more than that. Um, the sun's set already. Maybe 10 minutes to the last light. fish on but doesn't feel as big as that one I had on the rod. Yeah, little caddy. There you go. Woohoo! So
one uh, catfish on the primitive gear. Still got my uh, my rock sinker on there, and um, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll get you close up. All right, so there he is, catfish on the uh, primitive gear. Still got the hook in his mouth. Still got my little sinker. That's my uh, my rock sinker there. Now he's not as big as that first one I got, which I kept that other one. So I've got two fish to go. He didn't actually swallow it. I thought he'd take it right down, but he, maybe it went down in his mouth and it's come back out and it sort of turned sideways. It was almost out of his mouth, so I've only just hooked him. It's only just through that top. I'll see if I can give you a without getting spikes in his barbs. Come here big come here big boy. Alright. As you can see it's sort of it's only just got him. Um there that's my my sinker on there. But I don't know whether let this guy go and just use that other one that I got. I've I've killed that other the bigger one. So we get this out of him. Mm. Alright, and I get my hook back. <laughs> That's brilliant. Alright, I'm going to let this guy go because he's a bit smaller. They don't have a lot of meat on them. So, um, yeah, I'll let him go. I've got that bigger one. And, yeah, happy days. Alright, I'll let him go. That way, buddy. There he goes. Yeah. quite warm in here. Alright, so I've got my catfish. I've gutted it and I've taken the gills out of it. I've just got a bit of bamboo. I've split that and then just put a wedge in there. Not really sure how I'm going to work this at the moment. If I can drive that down through the ribs. So I've got the rib cage in there. If I can drive it in somehow. I may be able to. Pretty hard. Pretty hard to film this, boys. So I'm going to put one down through down there inside, and another one back down in there somewhere. That's the plan. Bear with me while I try to maneuver this down through it. Right, I think that's going to be 
good as it's going to get. Now, I'll untie it. I don't want my cord in the fire. Still with me? Alright, so, catfish, stick, fire, more wood on the fire, put the dies. So, as I was saying, got my fish on a stick, and then it's just going to be a matter of trying to toast him over the fire and um, get him to cook. So I could hold him here all night, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to rig up a stick, and I can either Need a stand on that. Get a nice smoky flavour up his belly. So I can stand on the stick all night. I might just get a big rock. Um, a few of them lying around. I can sit a rock at that end, but I want to raise it up. I just move this closer to the closer to the rock. Um, ideally I'd use a heavier piece of wood. Um, instead of bamboo, just so it um, doesn't get that flex in it. But this is a matter of trying to keep it out of the fire, get the warmth on it without without getting the heat. And um, yeah, happy days. So I find myself a big rock. I need to. That somehow, right there. So he's starting to he's starting to cook on that side slowly, but I need to cook him on the other side as well. I might just go over here instead of trying to maneuver it around the other side of the fire. I put a big piece of wood in to make life easier. Put it out here somewhere. My biggest fear is that I'm going to get him almost done then it's going to drop out from underneath this uh, bit of wood slam into the dirt I'm going to be, end up eating catfish covered in dirt which I don't particularly want It's going to take quite a while to cook it because I don't, don't want to cook it too quickly on the outside and burn the outside and still be raw on the inside I need this fish to be cooked all the way through so hence I'm not getting it too close to the fire um, getting it further enough away that it's it's got the heat I mean I've got the heat here and I certainly wouldn't want to be as close as the fish is to the fire all right I'm gonna go get some more wood and I'll leave that sitting in the smoke and get a nice smoky flavor to my fish
Didn't end up using my gaff hook. Went to all the effort of making it. Um, and I didn't get a chance to use it. Um, this is the fish I actually caught on the spinning reel. So, not primitive. <laughs> Before you start putting comments saying, oh, you know, you're cooking one that you caught on a rod and reel. I am, but I did catch that other one, um, which was smaller than this guy. He was The other one was maybe from the head, came to about here. So, this fish was a lot bigger. And I'd already killed this fish. Um, so, let that little one go. Um, I got on the primitive gear, and I just kept the this one that I got on the spin reel. So it's still primitive catch and cook. So I did catch a, a fish with primitive gear. I'm just not cooking that fish. I'm just, um, yeah. But back to the gaff hook. So I went to the effort of making it, thinking that um, if I hooked a big fish like this size on that primitive gear, and it was a steeper bank, because where I fished um, along a bit further, it's big steep banks there. So I was going to try a few different spots and if I had to hook this fish in that other area where there's a steep bank I couldn't actually get to the water, I couldn't drag it up on the bank um, I would have had to lift it straight up out of the water um, So there's a chance it could have broke the cordage could have pulled the hook out of its mouth um, So I came up with this gaff hook so I could actually, I was going to reach into the water and sort of set it into it behind the gills um, to try to help lift it out of the water However after all the effort of making it, sharpening the, sharpening up the hooks, they were the um, rib cage out of that wallaby, and uh, making the cordage to lash it on, didn't end up using it. So next time, I'm going to go look for some more wood because um, it's going to be a constant feeding this fire. Um, running pretty lean on wood in here, so I'm going to go out and uh, find something. I'll let this guy keep going and shall continue. Yeah. Looking pretty cooked. Oh yeah, she's cooked. Alright guys, well I'm going to sit back here and eat this fish. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Show your support for what I'm doing here. And um, you can hit the bell icon as well. So you don't miss out on any future videos I put up. But um, yeah, for now, I'm going to call this a wrap. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Alright. Yeah. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy.